السلام علیکم ڈیئر آڈینس ہوپ یو آر ڈوئنگ فائن ویل دس کرونا اٹس ڈینجرس اٹس انفیکشس اینڈ اٹ از سو سو ایگزاسٹنگ تھکا دیا اس نے یار ویل ان دیز ٹف اینڈ ٹیسٹنگ ٹائمس ایوری ون ہیز دا ریسپانسبلٹی ایز ٹیچرس وی ہیو دا ریسپانسبلٹی ٹو ریچ آؤٹ ٹو دا اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ وٹ وی ڈیڈ ایٹ مشن ای وی کریٹڈ اے پلیٹ فارم اینڈ ایپ ویر وی ول بی اپلوڈنگ دا ویڈیوز آئی ایکنالیج دیٹ دیئر مے بی سم ٹیکنیکل گلچس ان دا ایپ وچ ول بی ریکٹیفائڈ سونو بٹ دا ریسپانسبلٹی دیٹ یو ہیو ایز اسٹوڈنٹس از ناٹ ٹو ویسٹ دا ٹائم اپنا ٹائم ضائع نہیں کرنا ہے کچھ کر دو ایسا جو کوارنٹین کا ٹائم ہے اس کو یوٹیلائز کرو پروڈکٹیولی یوٹیلائز کرو پہلی بات تو مجھے پتا ہے یار کہ دس سے پہلے میرے کم کرنا بجے تو اٹھتے نہیں ہوں گے تو چلو یار دس بجے سے ہی ٹائم ٹیبل بنا دو لائک دس سے بارہ بجے تک کیپ اٹ بایولوجی دین دو سے چار تک فرام ٹو ٹو فور کیپ کیمسٹری اور میں فور ٹو سکس فزکس رکھ لو بعد میں چھ سے آٹھ میتھمیٹکس رکھ لو اس کے بعد آٹھ کے بعد سونا ہی سونا ہے دیٹ از یور لائک ہابی ٹو سلیپ سو دیز اے ٹائم ٹیبل دیٹ یو ہیو ٹو فالو ان دیز ٹائمز ایون ہاں یہ ٹائم ٹیبل صرف الیونتھ اور ٹویلتھ کے لیے الیونس بچوں کے لیے نہیں ہے اینٹرنس بچوں یو ہیو ٹو ورک ہارڈ اے مین یو آر ناؤ گیٹنگ انف ٹائم فار پریپریشن یو شوڈ ناٹ ہیو دین ریزن دیٹ کہ ہمیں ٹائم نہیں ملا دس از اے ٹائم وائی یو ہیو ٹو ورک وائی یو ہیو ٹو لائک اسٹرائیو مور اینڈ مور آئی ایکنالیج یہ تھوڑا ٹف ٹائم ہے تھوڑا کیا بہت ٹف ٹائم ہے بٹ یو شوڈ بی نوئنگ دیٹ وین گوئنگ گیٹس ٹف دا ٹف گیٹس گوئنگ تو اچیور وہی ہوگا سکندر وہی ہوگا جیتے گا وہی سلیکٹ وہی ہوگا جو اس ٹف ٹائم میں بھی بیٹا محنت کرے گا سو کمنگ بیک ٹو دا پرپز آف دس ویڈیو از ٹو ڈسکس دا سرکولیٹری سسٹم اینڈ ان دا سرکولیٹری سسٹم وی ور ڈسکسنگ دا ہارٹ اینڈ دا لاسٹ ٹاپک ول بی ڈسکسڈ ان دس لیکچر اینڈ دا ٹاپک از دا کارڈیک سائیکل so inshallah you focus and orient yourselves now so what is the cardiac cycle bete have you ever heard about the heartbeat the other name of the heartbeat is the cardiac cycle now you see imagine my hand represents heart and this is the contraction of the heart we know the contraction of the heart is known as systole and then eventually heart will relax the relaxation of the heart as i have told you is known as diastole so this is a heart this is a systole the contraction and this is the diastole the relaxation now what is the cardiac cycle but this is the heart one contraction one systole plus one relaxation one diastole is known as cardiac cycle so if anyone asks you what is the cardiac cycle cardiac cycle is one systole plus one diastole again see here one systole and one diastole this is the cardiac cycle and i should be telling you here the time taken in the cardiac cycle for one systole and one diastole is 0.8 second so that is the cardiac cycle and that is the duration of the cardiac cycle beta you again focus towards my hand i told you this represents the heart and this is a systole this is a diastole and the entire process is the cardiac cycle maine aapko bola 0.8 second mein a cardiac cycle complete hota hai can you tell me now how many cardiac cycles will there be in 60 seconds agar 0.8 second mein a cardiac cycle 60 second mein kitne cardiac cycle honge bete this number of cardiac cycle that will be present in 60 seconds in 1 minute is known as heart rate so if anyone asks you what is the heart rate heart rate is number of cardiac cycles per minute you see in 0.8 second there is a cardiac cycle in 60 seconds how many cardiac cycles is known as the heart rate how to calculate this heart rate beta this is a equation which says heart rate what is the heart rate number of cardiac cycles 
per 60 second or per minute rather is equal to 60 divided by time of cardiac cycle. 60, we know the time of cardiac cycle is 0 0.8 second and then it comes out to be around 75. When I say the heart rate is 75, it means that 75 cardiac cycles are occurring in 60 seconds or occurring per minute. So you again see towards the board, but if we discuss it, the heartbeat, the cardiac cycle is also known as a heartbeat. Then we discuss the cardiac cycle. We told you, I told you rather, that the time of the cardiac cycle is 0 0.8 second. And then what is the heart rate? Heart rate is number of cardiac cycles in 60 seconds or per minute. And then how to calculate this heart rate? There is this famous equation which says heart rate is equal to 60 divided by time of cardiac cycle. As we calculated in a previous slide that heart rate is around 75. What is the significance of the 75? What does it mean actually? It means that 75 cardiac cycles are occurring in 60 seconds, are occurring in a minute. Per minute rather. So sometimes what happens beta? Jo heart rate hai, ye 75 nahi rehta hai. Sometimes heart rate become 80. Means 80 cardiac cycles per minute. Sometimes you come to 90. Means 90 cardiac cycles per minute. This means that heart rate is increasing. 75 say 80 ban gaya. Ya 90 ban gaya. Ya 100 ban gaya. Heart rate is increasing. When does this happen? Heart rate kab kab increase hota hai. Beta it happens in following conditions. If there is increased adrenaline in the body or acting on the heart, it increases the heart rate. Similarly, if there is increased thyroxin in the body, it again increases the heart rate. Similarly, beta, if there is increased oxygen demand in the body, body ko zada oxygen chahiye, us time pe bhi beta, heart rate increase hota hai. So, the adrenaline, the thyroxin and increased oxygen demand increases the heart rate. Now, having said that, that heart rate increases by these three things. Sometimes what happens, the heart rate falls. It is not now 75. It becomes 70. It becomes 65. It becomes 60. What I'm trying to say, the heart rate is falling. What are those factors which decrease the heart rate is number one, acetylcholine. Acetylcholine decrease the heart rate. Similarly, what is the other factor which decreases the heart rate is increased blood pressure. Jab bhi body ke andre blood pressure increase ho jata hai beta, hamare body ke andre ke aisa mechanism hai, jis ki vaja se heart rate kam ho jata hai. Beta, this mechanism in the body, when blood pressure increases and heart rate decreases, is known as Mary's law of heart. So, if anyone asks you what is the Mary's law of heart, Mary's law of heart says whenever there is increased BP in the body, the heart rate will fall. So these are two factors. One is the acetylcholine and another is the increased BP which decreases the heart rate. And I should be telling you here beta, this increase in the heart rate. This increase in the heart rate, this increase in the heart rate, in science we call it as tachycardia. Tachycardia. So beta, if anyone asks you what is a tachycardia, it is the increase in the heart rate. Similarly beta, this decrease in the heart rate, this decrease in the heart rate is known as bradycardia. Bradycardia. You see here beta. This is a tachycardia and this is the bradycardia. If I keep tachycardia on this side and bradycardia on this side, tachycardia mean increase in the heart rate and bradycardia will mean decrease in the heart rate. So having discussed the tachycardia and bradycardia, the increase in the heart rate and the decrease in the heart rate and the factors which cause the tachycardia, which cause the bradycardia. Let's move back to our like topic that is the cardiac cycle. I tell you, I told you that uh, this is the contraction, this is the relaxation, this is the systole, this is the diastole and the entire process is known as a cardiac cycle. But beta, I tell you, 
when this process is happening like this contraction and relaxation is not as simple as it appears actually in the entire process the contraction and relaxation there are actually six steps occurring cardiac cycle ke andar छे स्टेप्स होते हैं कौन कौन से वो छह स्टेप है हम वो डिस्कस करेंगे इन शाह इन द कोर्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो बट फॉर नाउ यू इनिशियली रिमेंबर दो स्टेप्स पहले उनका नाम याद रख लो उसके बाद एक एक स्टेप अलग अलग हम पढ़ेंगे बेटे तो सबसे पहला स्टेप है कार्डिक साइकिल के अंदर उस स्टेप वन को बेटा हम कहते हैं आइसोमेट्रिक आइसोवोल्यूमिक रिलैक्सेशन सब बच्चे जो स्टेप वन मेमोराइज दिस आइसोमेट्रिक आइसोवोल्यूमिक रिलैक्सेशन और आज से बेटे इन द कोर्स ऑफ टाइम मैं सारा स्टेप नहीं लिखूंगा आई विल जस्ट मैंशन आई वी आर बाई सिंग आई वी आर आई विल बी मीनिंग आई सो वॉल्यूमिक रिलैक्सेशन एंड देन बेटा द स्टेप टू इन द कार्डिक साइकिल इज फर्स्ट रैपिड फिलिंग ऑफ वेंट्रिकल यस मेमोराइज इट फर्स्ट रैपिड फिलिंग ऑफ वेंट्रिकल and in the course of video i will be mentioning i r f v is sare ke badle main bas i r f v likhunga by saying i r f v i will be meaning first rapid filling of ventricle that is a step 2 in the cardiac cycle then is a step 3 slow filling of ventricle and in the course of video we will be representing this step as s f v that is the slow filling of ventricle slow filling of ventricle and then step 4 that is the second rapid filling of ventricle in the course of video represented by srfv the second rapid filling of ventricle and then we will take step 5 isometric isovolumic contraction the step 1 was isometric isovolumic the same but it is a relaxation it's a contraction and we will be representing it by ivc isovolumic contraction as we represent the step one as ivr isovolumic relaxation here see the contraction and then when we take is a step 6 that is the ejection period or the ep so i tell you the cardiac cycle which i initially told you is like the contraction the relaxation in this contraction and relaxation process actually six steps are occurring what are those six steps these are the steps that are involved in the cardiac cycle the ivr the irfv the sfv the srfv the ivc and the ejection period ab jisse pehle hum cardiac cycle ke sare steps ek ek karke padhe baithe main aapko kuch cheeze yaad dilana chahunga uske baad you will be in a position where we can discuss the cardiac cycle steps For now, bete, as you remember, I have told you that in human heart there are four chambers: the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, the left ventricle. Between right atrium and right ventricle, there is this gate, the AV valve. And left atrium and left ventricle, there is this gate, the AV valve. This wall side, this wall side's gate, ah, bete, right AV valve, and that side. गेट वी कॉल एज ए लेफ्ट एवी वैलो जो हमने ऑलरेडी डिस्कस किया है सिंपली आई से बिटवीन एटीएम एंड वेंट्रिकल एटीएम एंड वेंट्रिकल देर इज ए गेट नोन एज द एवी वैलो इसके बगैर मैंने आपको ये बात भी बोली थी जो राइट वेंट्रिकल है वहां से एक वैसल उठती है जिसका नाम पलमनरी आर्टरी है और वो लंग के पास जाती है सिमिलरली लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल से एक वैसल उठती है जिसका नाम इटा है और वो बॉडी के पास जाती है सो बेटे अगर आपको याद होगा मैंने आपको कहा द पॉइंट एट विच द पल्मनरी आर्टरी अराइज फ्रॉम द राइट वेंट्रिकल सिमिलरली द पॉइंट एट विच द इटा अराइज फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल यहां पे भी दरवाजा होता है और उस दरवाजे का नाम बेटे एस एल वी वैलो सेमिलोनर वैलो सो एक तो एवी वैलो बिटवीन एट्रिया एंड वेंट्रिकल and another is slv valo it is a valo at two points in the heart one at the point where the pulmonary artery arises and another at the point where aorta arises from the left ventricle now we will discuss the most important part of this video is the steps in the cardiac cycle as i told you already that in cardiac cycle there are six steps step 1 jisko humne bola beta आइसो वोल्यूमिक रिलैक्सेशन स्टेप टू जिसको हमने बोला फर्स्ट रैपिड फिलिंग ऑफ वेंट्रिकल स्टेप थ्री स्लो फिलिंग ऑफ वेंट्रिकल 
step four second rapid freeing of ventricle step five isovolumic contraction and step six is ejection period beta agar aap is diagram ko dekhoge you can see it's very very complex and i acknowledge it iske andar ek ek step ke andar kya kya hota hai kaun sa step kaise hota hai what are the points that happen in each step it's very tough to memorize the whole thing so what to do there is a hack there is a concept there is a idea jiski wajah se ye sara cardiac cycle aapko zabaan yaad ho jayega jo idea hai jo concept hai wo is tarah hai bete ki jo step 1 hai step 2 hai step 3 hai aur step 4 hai in these four steps what happen the ventricles are filled jo ye ventricle hai jo ye ventricle hai iske andar blood aa jata hai iske andar blood aa jata hai yes obviously from the atria from the atria so the thing is from step 1 to step 4 1 2 3 4 the ventricles are being filled and in step 5 and step 6 these ventricles are then emptied isse blood bahar liya jata hai for example from right ventricle the blood moves out through this pulmonary artery from left ventricle the blood moves out through this arch of aorta so the concept the hack the idea is simple that in step 1 2 3 and 4 the ventricles are filled while as in step 5 and step 6 the ventricles are emptied agar itna samajh aa gaya ye wali line samajh aa gayi cardiac cycle samajhna bahut aasan chalo beta jaan lete hain ki jo step 1 hai jiska humne naam diya isovolumic relaxation क्या क्या होता है हार्ट को इन स्टेप वन आइसोवोल्यूम रिलैक्सेशन में व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स व्हाट आर द पॉइंट्स हैपनिंग टू द हार्ट इन द स्टेप वन ऑफ द कार्डियक साइकिल व्हाट हैपेंस टू द एवी वैलो व्हाट हैपेंस टू दिस एवी वैलो व्हाट हैपेंस टू दिस एवी वैलो ऑब्वियस ही बात है बेटा एज आवर कांसेप्ट सेज फ्रॉम स्टेप वन टू स्टेप फोर यू हैव टू फिल द वेंट्रिकल you have to fill the ventricle since you have to fill the ventricle and we all know ki ventricle ke andar agar aapko blood dalna hai wo blood atria se aata hai so if you have to fill the ventricle this av valve should be open so same thing happens in step 1 that av valve opens up when it opens up blood will move down into the ventricles and ventricles will get filled with the blood so that's a point 1 in the step 1 and then bete it says what happens to the slv valve this is the slv valve this is the slv valve you tell me what your mind says to you what should be happening with these slv valves should they be open or should they be closed mere hisab se mera dimag mujhse kehta hai jo ye slv valve hai ye close hone chahiye because i have to fill the ventricle agar ye open hua so it will take blood away from the right ventricle if this valve is open it will take blood away from the left ventricle so the thing is these slv valves since we have to fill the ventricles these slv valves should be closed and same thing happens in the step 1 the point number 2 is in the heart the slv valves are closed and then point number third this ventricle should it be contracting or should it be relaxing that i tell you सिंस आई हैव टू फिल द वेंट्रिकल क्या ये कंट्रैक्ट करना चाहिए क्या ये रिलैक्स होना चाहिए मेरे हिसाब से बेटा जो वेंट्रिकल है यू शुड बी रिलैक्सिंग क्योंकि जब ये रिलैक्स होगा स्पेस ज्यादा होगी स्पेस ज्यादा होगी ब्लड कैन एंटर इन टू द वेंट्रिकल दिस वेंट्रिकुलर रिलैक्सेशन इज नोन एज वेंट्रिकुलर डायस्टली जैसा हमने बोला है कि द रिलैक्सेशन इज नोन एज डायस्टली सो ये तीन पॉइंट आप याद रख लो पहला पॉइंट की ए वी वैलो open because you have to fill the ventricle second point slv valve close again because you have to fill the ventricle third point that ventricles should not be contracting they should be relaxing because when they are relaxing there is a space when there is a space blood can enter into the ventricle and point number four jo tumhe gota yaad rakhna bete wo ye hai ki atria is also relaxing in step 1 of the cardiac cycle atria is also in diastole so these are the four points that you have to memorize that occur in the step 1 of the cardiac cycle this is a close view of step 1 now let's see the step 2 this can be the first rapid filling of ventricle 
अगेन बेटे डू नथिंग यूज द हैक यूज द कंसेप्ट दैट इज फ्रॉम स्टेप वन टू स्टेप फोर यू हैव टू फिल द वेंट्रिकल देन टेल मी बेटे इफ यू हैव टू फिल द वेंट्रिकल शुड ए वी वैलो बी ओपन और क्लोज ओबियस बात है अभी अभी पढ़ा बेटा ए वी वैलो शुड बी ओपन सेम थिंग स्टेप टू दैट इट इज ओपन and then wait it tell me should the slv value be open or close again since you have to fill the ventricles ventricles fill karna hai bete to slv value hai it should be closed so same thing in step 2 the slv value in the heart they are closed then should the ventricle be contracting or relaxing again bete the concept is we have to fill the ventricle since we have to fill the ventricle the atria the rather the ventricle should be relaxing ventricular you relax karega space hoga blood andar jayega bete in the ventricles so ventricle should be in diastole same thing happens vd meaning ventricular diastole and again jo ek cheez tumhe yaad rakhni hai aise hi wo ye ki atria again in the step 2 is in diastole now bete if you come here step 1 with step 2 what i found find you see atria diastole atria diastole ventricular diastole ventricular diastole slv close slv close av valve open av valve opens up so this is the difference actually here av valve is open while as in step 1 it is starting opening step 1 ke andar hai it start kar raha hai open hona aur yahan pe darwaza khula hai so bete there's a difference between step 1 and step 2 and besides since the av valve is open now the blood will gush forth by saying gush forth i mean it will move rapidly from atria to ventricle jab ye darwaza khula hai blood yahan se yahan yahan se yahan bahut tezi tezi se jayega so that's why we call it as rapid filling this is a close view of step 2 so let's discuss the step 3 now which is the slow filling of ventricle again bete do nothing use the concept that in step 1 to step 4 you have to fill the ventricle since you have to fill the ventricle my mind says this av valve should be open is av valve open yes av valve is open since i have to fill the ventricles the slv valve should be closed is the slv closed yes the slv is closed since i have to fill the ventricle the ventricle should not be contracting ventricle should be relaxing is ventricle relaxing yes ventricular diastole aur jo fourth point hai jo aapko zabani yaad rakhna hai gota yaad rakhna hai wo ye ki atria is also in diastole but now you see bete if you see step 2 and step 3 can you differentiate the step 2 and step 3 AV valve open, AV valve open. SLV close, SLV close. VD, VD. AD, AD. Atrial diastole, atrial diastole. If you see step two and step three, they are same, exact copy. You take this and like put it here. They are the same thing. But what is the difference actually? The difference is in step two, blood is moving fastly from atria to ventricle, while as in step 3 the difference from step 2 is blood now is moving slowly from atria to ventricles obvious si baat hai jab darwaza pehli bar khola jayega jo pani hai jo blood hai wo bahut tezi se jayega ventricle ki aur aur after some time ye jo flow hai ye dheere dheere aasta aasta jayega from atria to the ventricles the close view of step 3 so what happens in step 4 the step 4 jisko humne bola hai second rapid filling of ventricle kya hota hai step 4 ke andar again use the like concept use the idea from step 1 to step 4 you have to fill the ventricle since bete you have to fill the ventricle this darwaza av wala darwaza should be open is it open yes av valve is open since again you have to fill these ventricle this valve slv valve should be closed is the slv valve close yes the slv valve is close again since you have to fill the ventricle the ventricle should not be contracting the ventricle should be relaxing the ventricle should be in diastole 
Yes, the ventricle is in diastole. Now is an important point in the step 4 that there is atrial systole. By saying atrial systole, I mean to say now this atria is contracting. जो atria है, ये contract करेगा. जो atria ये contract करेगा. खुदा के लिए बेटे मुझे बोल, जब ही atria contract करेगा, जो blood यहां पे atria के अंदर होगा, will it move slowly into the ventricle now or it will move again rapidly into the ventricle. When atria contracts, it, it, will, it, will, it will exert pressure on the blood and blood will move again fastly from the atria into the ventricle. Same thing says that blood gush forth, that is move fast from atria to ventricle. So, in step 4, 4 points, so the 5 points that you have to memorize. AV is open, SLV is closed, ventricular diastole, but the important point is atria is in contracting stage. Atria is showing the systole. Since atria will show the systole, it will exert the force on the blood. When there is a force on the blood, blood will now move again fastly from atria to the ventricle. Why now is it called second rapid filling? Because first rapid filling has already occurred. Therefore, we call it as second rapid filling of the ventricles. This is a close view of step 4. So comes the step 5. The step 5 is isovolumic contraction. Beta, again, the mnemonic, the hack, the concept, the idea. In step 1 to step 4, you have to fill the ventricle. While as in step 5 and in step 6, you have to now empty the ventricle. But if uh, we have to empty the ventricle, if we have to empty this ventricle, I tell you, this AV valve should be now closed. Because you have to fill it and empty it. So, same thing happens that AV valve is closed. Which valve should be open now, man? The SLV value should be open because I have to take blood from this, I have to take blood from this to the lung to the body. I have to empty the ventricle. So the SLV value, what happens? It opens up. Now tell me, I have to empty the ventricle. Mujhe ventricle ko empty karna hai. Should ventricle be contracting or should it be relaxing? Obviously, baat, if you have to empty the ventricle, it should now contract. When it contracts, it will push the blood out of the ventricles. So same thing happens that ventricle now is in the systole. By saying ventricular systole, I mean to say that ventricle is contracting. When it contracts, it will force the blood out of the ventricles. And then, obviously, by the beta, atria should be relaxing. Atria should be diastole. Because we have ventricle se empty blood karana. Ventricle contract करना चाहिए. Atria को तो contract करने की कोई ज़रूरत ही नहीं है अब. There is no fun if atria contracts because we have to empty the ventricles. Same thing happens that AD by saying AD, I mean to say atria is in diastole and diastole is that atria is in relaxing stage. It is not contracting. This is a close view of step five. So the final step is step six. The ejection period. Again, the mnemonic, the hack, the concept. In step 1 to step 4, the ventricles are being filled. While as in step 5 and step 6, you have to empty the ventricles. Since you have to empty the ventricle, close the AV valve. AV valve is closed. Since you have to empty the ventricle, the SLV valve should be open. That will open hoga. It will take the blood to the lung or to the body. Same thing happens that SLV valve is open. Again, since you have to empty the ventricle, the ventricle should not be relaxing. It should be contracting. When you contract it, it will force, it will push the blood out of the ventricles. So that's the thing that ventricle systole. Ventricle relax, nahi hai, ventricle contract. Karega. And then wait, obviously, baat hai, atria should not be contracting. Atria systole may not hona chahi because there is no fun that atria will contract right now. Because in step 6, you have to empty the ventricle. You ventricle to empty karna, there is no fun that atria contracts. So atria should be not contracting. So that 
non-contracting, that relaxing thing is diastole. Atria is in diastole. And what happens in step 6? Blood moves from ventricle into the body. From right ventricle, it will move into the lungs. From left ventricle, it will move into the aorta. This is the close view of step 6. I again repeat the steps in the cardiac cycle. We have six steps. The first is isovolumic relaxation. The second is first rapid filling of ventricle. The third is slow filling of ventricle. The fourth step, second rapid filling of ventricle. The fifth step, isovolumic contraction. And sixth step is ejection period. And the mnemonic, the concept that we used to memorize the entire cardiac cycle is that from step one to step four, you have to fill the ventricle. And from step five and step six, you have to empty the ventricle. Because you have to fill the ventricle, AV value open open, 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 open. open. Because you have to fill the ventricle, SLE value close. Close, 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 close. Because you have to ventricle fill the ventricle should be in relaxing stage. It should be in diastole. Diastole, 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 diastole. So that's how it goes. And then in step 5 and step 6, since you have to empty the ventricle, now AV value should be close. AV value is close. AV value is close. You have to empty the ventricle. The SLV value should be open. SLV is open. SLV is open. Since you have to empty the ventricle, the ventricle should be contracting. Ventricle should be systole. Ventricular systole. Ventricular systole. So it's easy now. Ab ghar mein, thoda beta, aista. इस सारे को रिवाइज करो अच्छी तरीके से जबान याद हो जाएगा इंशाल्लाह बेटे यू अगेन फोकस टुवर्ड्स द बोर्ड इफ यू सी इन स्टेप 1 वेंट्रिकुलर डायस्टोले यानी जो वेंट्रिकल है वो रिलैक्स है एट्रियल डायस्टोले एट्रिया भी रिलैक्स है सो इन स्टेप 1 जो ये दोनों है एट्रिया भी और वेंट्रिकल दे बोथ आर इन रिलैक्सड स्टेज इफ यू सी स्टेप 2 Again, ventricle is in diastole, relaxed. Atria is in diastole, yani ye bhi relaxed. So again in step 2, like step 1, both are relaxed. Ventricle bhi relax hai, or atria bhi relax hai. In step 3 now, again, ventricle diastole, meaning ventricle is relaxed. Atrial diastole, meaning atria is relaxed. Mere bete, those steps in the cardiac cycle where both atria and ventricle are relaxed at the same time. Atria or ventricle eki saat eki time per relaxed. Hai. Those steps in the cardiac cycle are known as joint diastole or they constitute joint diastole. The so step one plus step two plus step three constitute joint diastole and by saying joint diastole I mean to say that the ventricle and atria are in a relaxed stage at the same time. Now Bete, an important concept that you have to understand. Imagine these two markers are represent here the AV value. Upar se bete, there is the atria, niche se there is the ventricle. So the atria, the ventricle, and this is a gate, this is a passage, the AV value. And then we know in step one, this AV value is open. In step two, again, this AV value, it is open. In step three, again, this AV value is open. And in step four, this AV value is open. Why is this AV value open? Because we have to fill the ventricles with the blood. And that blood in the ventricles come from the atria. But in step five, this AV value will get closed. Closed is because now we have to empty the ventricle. So, bete. In step 5, when this AV value gets closed, it leads to it leads to the first heart sound. The closure of the AV value, the strike, these values strike with each other, they produce a sound, they produce a sound, that sound bete we call as first heart sound, or as they pronounce lub L U B B. So the first heart sound is produced due to the closure of AV value in the step number 5. 
एंड नाउ यू सी मेरा बेटा दिस इज अलूनर वैलो दिस इज अलूनर वैलो इफ यू सी इन स्टेप वन इट इज क्लोज इन स्टेप टू द सेमिलूनर वैलो इज क्लोज स्टेप थ्री द सेमिलूनर वैलो इज क्लोज स्टेप फोर इट इज क्लोज Why is this semilunar valve closed? Because we have to fill the ventricle. तो ये दरवाजा open नहीं होना चाहिए, बंद होना चाहिए. Then in step five, the semilunar valve opens. In step six, the semilunar valve opens. जो ये दरवाजा है, ये open हो जाता है. So in step five and step six, the semilunar valve are open because now we have to empty the ventricle. So same thing happens that the semilunar valve is now open. But you see, bete, from step six, अब जब नया cardiac cycle start होगा, in step one, this semilunar valve will get again enclosed. अभी step six के अंदर ये open है. अब जब नया cardiac cycle start होगा, ये semilunar valve और close होगा. Imagine this is step six while it's open. Now in step one, it will get again closed when the semilunar valve get closed. In the step one of the next cardiac cycle, it produces another heart sound. That another heart sound is known as the second heart sound, or as you pronounce dub, d u b b. So, bete, you have two heart sounds. One, the first heart sound. Another, the second heart sound. The first heart sound is produced due to the closure of the AV valve in step five. While as the second heart sound is produced due to the closure of the SLV valve in step one of the next cardiac cycle. So those two heart sounds, one is a lobe and another is a dub, and we have an instrument known as stethoscope by which, by the help of which, we hear these two heart sounds, the lub and the dub, the first heart sound and the second heart sound. So, if anyone asks you, how are the heart sounds produced in the heart? Actually, they are produced due to the closure of the valves. Either the closure of the AV valve or the closure of the SLV valve. So that is the first heart sound and second heart sound. Now you better again focus towards the diagram. हमें पता है step one, two, three और step four के अंदर ventricle fill होता है, ventricle fill होता है. As we have already mentioned this, after step four, जब ventricle fill हुआ, कितना blood right ventricle के अंदर आया? It is beta around 115 milliliter. After step 4, kitna blood left ventricle ke andar aya, bete is again around 115 milliliter. So, after step 4, the ventricle fill hua, right ventricle ke andar 115 milliliter of blood, or bete left ventricle ke andar again 115 milliliter of blood. Now, you see, right ventricle ko idhar hi chhod do. Let's focus on the left ventricle. Beta, the amount of blood, this 115 milliliter that has accumulated or that has entered into the left ventricle after step 4, this amount of blood, this quantity of blood is known as end diastolic volume. It is known as the end diastolic volume. So end diastolic volume is the volume of blood. In the left ventricle, right nahi yaar, right kudari chordo. In the left ventricle, after step 4, that amount of blood, beta, we call as and diastolic volume. Now, we are only focusing towards the left ventricle. Right ventricle, show it. So, beta, left ventricle ke andar 115 milliliter blood jama hua hai after step 4. Jisko humne bola and diastolic volume. Uske baad, beta, step 5 ke andar and in step 6, blood move from ventricle into body, जो left ventricle है, यहां से blood निकलेगा, and via this aorta, it will move into the body. So, how much amount of blood will leave the ventricle in step 6 towards the body? The volume is beta 70 milliliter. The volume is 70 milliliter. Beta, this amount of blood that moves from left ventricle towards the body in step 6, 
it is known as mere bete the stroke volume so if anyone asks you what is the stroke volume stroke volume is the volume of blood ejected not from the right ventricle right ventricle ko chhod do yaar from the left ventricle left ventricle se kitna blood eject hua step 6 ke andar towards the body into the aorta that volume of blood beta is around 70 ml and that volume beta is known as stroke volume we have actually three definitions of the stroke volume the definition number one is the volume of blood ejected by left ventricle in step 6 towards the body this is the definition number one the definition number two is the volume of blood ejected by left ventricle towards the body per cardiac cycle you utna hi blood entire cardiac cycle mein bhi left ventricle deta hai body ko step 6 or cardiac cycle is the same thing so beta that is the second definition of the stroke volume the third definition of the stroke volume is the volume of blood supplied by the left ventricle to the body per 0.8 second or in 0.8 second वो वही बात होगी क्योंकि ड्यूरेशन ऑफ कार्ड एक साइकिल इज जीरो पॉइंट एट सेकेंड सो दिस अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड दैट इज इजेक्टेड टू द बॉडी बाय द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल इन द कार्ड एक साइकिल इन द स्टेप सिक्स इन द जीरो पॉइंट एट सेकेंड इज नोन एज मेरे बेटे द स्ट्रोक वॉल्यू नाउ वेन इन जीरो पॉइंट एट सेकेंड द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल सप्लाइज सेवेंटी मिली लीटर सप्लाइज द स्ट्रोक वॉल्यू what is the amount of blood that this left ventricle will supply to the body in 60 seconds that amount of blood beta we can calculate that and that amount of blood beta we call as the cardiac output so if there is a stroke volume here there is a cardiac output here it is the volume of blood supplied to the body by left ventricle it is the volume of blood supplied to the body by the left ventricle but it is supplied in 0.8 seconds it is supplied in 60 seconds the amount of blood supplied to the body in 60 seconds beta we call as cardiac output so beta stroke volume and the cardiac output and then how you calculate this cardiac output there is this equation you use this equation you will calculate the cardiac output now an important concept again i told you that the left ventricle supply 70 ml blood per cardiac cycle to the body sometime what happen the left ventricle is unable to do that ki ye 70 ml body ko supply nahi kar pata usse kam kar pata hai 50 karega 60 karega when the left ventricle is unable to supply blood unable to supply 70 ml or supplies less blood to the body the condition beta we call as heart failure so if anyone asks you what is the heart failure is a condition of the heart while the heart is unable or to be precise the left ventricle is unable to supply to pump enough blood to the body चलो बेटा वापस आ जाओ वापस आ जाओ बेटा दिस इज दिन मिली लीटर जो मैंने बोला लेफ्ट वेंटिकल के अंदर है जिसका हमने नाम दिया बेटा एंड डायस्टोलिक वॉल्यूम और बाद में बैठे स्टेप फाइव और स्टेप सिक्स के अंदर ये सेवनटी मिली लीटर ये स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम लेफ्ट वेंटिकल से बाहर निकला अब खुदा के लिए मुझे बोलो अगर हंड्रेड मिलीलीटर में से सेवनटी मिली गया टूवर्ड्स द बॉडी then tell me bete what is the amount of blood that will remain in the left ventricle even after step 6 step 6 mein jab blood bahar jata hai 70 ml bahar jata hai left ventricle ke andar fir bhi kitna blood bachega that amount of blood bete in the cardiac cycle we call that amount of blood as the end systolic volume so end systolic volume is 115 मिलीलीटर जो इनिशियली लेफ्ट वेंटिकल के अंदर था माइनस 70 मिलीलीटर जो लेफ्ट वेंटिकल से बाहर निकला सो दैट कम्स अबाउट 45 मिलीलीटर सो बेटे एज ऑफ नाउ देयर आर फोर राधा थ्री वॉल्यूम्स दैट वी डिस्कस द नंबर वन वाज दी एंड डायस्टोलिक वॉल्यूम 
the number two the stroke volume and number three and systolic volume and diastolic volume is a volume of blood in the left ventricle after step four stroke volume is a volume of blood that moves out of the left ventricle while as the and systolic volume is the volume of blood that is in the left ventricle even after ejecting the stroke volume so that is the difference between the three volumes the and diastolic volume the stroke volume and the and systolic volume yahan pe ek confusion aapke dimag mein utha hoga zahir sir aapne kaha in the left ventricle there is 115 ml similarly in the right ventricle there is 115 ml लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल से 70 मिलीलीटर बाहर जाता है टूवर्ड्स द बॉडी एंड देन देर इज ओनली 45 मिलीलीटर क्या राइट वेंट्रिकल के अंदर कुछ नहीं होता नहीं बेटे राइट वेंट्रिकल के अंदर भी सेम प्रोसेस होता है कि राइट वेंट्रिकल में इनिशियली 115 मिलीलीटर था इसका 70 मिलीलीटर टूवर्ड्स द बॉडी नहीं टूवर्ड्स द लंग जाता है एंड देन इन द राइट वेंट्रिकल अगेन देयर विल रिमेन 45 मिलीलीटर देन बट द थिंग इज द एंड डायस्टोलिक वॉल्यूम डेफिनेशन the stroke volume definition and the and systolic volume definition is reserved only for the left ventricle isliye humne left ventricle ko zyada focus kiya otherwise same process is happening in the right ventricle even so confuse hone ki baat nahi hai so let's move to the next sub topic that will be the end that is the beta ecg or ekg what is that you see so beta what is the ecg ecg stand for electrocardiograph and there was a scientist known as enthoven who invented the ecg machine and he is considered as father of ecg as i have written here that enthoven is the father of ecg now comes a question what does the ecg machine actually do ECG क्या डिटेक्ट करती है ECG क्या मेजर करती है जिससे पहले बेटा मैं वो बोलू आप एक मिनट वापस वो चीज रिवाइंड करो जहां मैंने आपको कहा हार्ट के अंदर तीन स्ट्रक्चर्स है विच कैन जनरेट द इम्पल्स फॉर कंट्रेक्शन वर आई टोल्ड यू द नंबर वन इज द एस ए नोड द नंबर टू इज ए वी नोड एंड नंबर थ्री इज अ पोर केंजी फाइबर्स then as a node connected to the av node by these interval fibers the av node connected to the purkinje fibers by two things the bundle of his and the bundle branch now you see i told you under normal condition it is the as a node which is considered as pacemaker of heart which is considered as heart of heart नॉर्मल कंडीशन के अंदर क्या होता है बेटे ये एस ए नोड इंपल्स जनरेट करता है इंफॉर्मेशन जनरेट करता है कि भाई हार्ट को कंट्रैक्ट होना है या नहीं होना है सो अंडर नॉर्मल कंडीशन इट इज द एस ए नोड विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस विथ यू बेटे जो ये एस ए नोड है जो ये इंपल्स जनरेट करता है जो ये इंफॉर्मेशन जनरेट करता है इस इंपल्स का इस इंफॉर्मेशन का थर्ड नाम है इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी इसी इंफॉर्मेशन का इसी इंपल्स का फोर्थ नाम है बेटे डिपोलराइजेशन सो एस ए नोट जनरेट यस एन इंपल्स द अदर नेम इंफॉर्मेशन द अदर नेम इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी द अदर नेम डिपोलराइजेशन एंड देन वी नो दिस डिपोलराइजेशन दिस इंपल्स देन मूव यू आर दिस इंटरनल ऑफ फाइबर्स रीज अ एवी नोट एंड देन फ्रॉम एवी नोट इट रीच वाई आर द बंडल ऑफ हिस and bundle branch it finally reach the purkinje fibers so what does the ecg do ecd ecg what does it do it records electrical activity impulses of heart jo ye sari impulse generate hui jo impulse as a node se generate hui ba me move kiya into the av node ba me move kiya into the purkinje fiber these all impulses this all information this all electrical activity is recorded by the ecg how does it do it you see here. this is how ecg graph ecg paper look like kaise banta hai ye sab kuch let's see towards this part of the board towards this diagram i told you in the heart it is the as a node which actually generates the impulse which actually generates the depolarization so as a node ne impulse generate ki 
इसने डिपोलराइजेशन जनरेट की एंड दैट डिपोलराइजेशन दैट इंपल्स मूव वाया दिस इंटरनोडल फाइबर्स टू रीच द एवी नोड सो बेटे अभी जो हमारी इंपल्स है जो हमारी डिपोलराइजेशन है इट इज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द एट्रियम में अभी ये वेंट्रिकल के अंदर गई नहीं दिस थिंग इज रिकॉर्डेड इन द ईसीजी बाय अ वेव लाइक दिस ए अपवर्ड डिफ्लेक्शन नोन एज पी वेव सो पी वेव ए डिफ्लेक्शन एंड अपवर्ड डिफ्लेक्शन ऑन ईसीजी रिप्रेजेंट्स दैट द डिपोलराइजेशन दैट द इंपल्स फॉर कंट्रैक्शन इज राइट नाउ इन द एट्रिया एंड देन this depolarization this impulse move from the av node to bundle of his from bundle of his to bundle branch from bundle branch to the purkinje fibers as right now this impulse this depolarization is now in the ventricles ye information jo hai jo ye impulse hai jo depolarization hai ye atria se ab ventricle ke paas gayi this thing is also recorded on the ecg by three waves one wave known as q then another wave known as r and then another wave known as s so the q r s these are the three waves which represent that the impulse that the depolarization is right now in the ventricles ab sawal uthega sir ये Q कैसे बनता है ये R कैसे बनता है ये S कैसे बनता है बेटा दैट इज बियॉन्ड द स्कोप राइट नाउ आई कैन नॉट डिस्कस दैट अभी के लिए बस याद रख लो ऑन ईसीजी पेपर इफ दे इज अ पी वेव दिस पी वेव सिग्निफाई दैट द डिपोलराइजेशन दैट द इंपल्स फॉर कंट्रैक्शन इज राइट नाउ इन द एट्रिया एंड देन द क्यू आर एस द थ्री वेव रिप्रेजेंट दैट द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट द इम्पल्स दैट द डिपोलराइजेशन वेव इज राइट नाउ इन देंट्रिकल्स हैविंग सेड वेन द इम्पल्स इज इन द एट्रिया इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द पी वेव एंड वेन द इम्पल्स इज इन देंट्रिकल इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय थ्री वेव द क्यू आर एंड एस एक इंपॉर्टेंट चीज बेटा आपको यहां समझनी पड़ेगी जब ये इंपल्स एट्रिया के अंदर होता है इट इंड्यूस सम चेंज इन द एट्रिया एट्रिया के अंदर कुछ चेंज आ जाती है सिमिलरली वेन दिस वेव वेन दिस इंपल्स वेन दिस डिपोलराइजेशन इन इज इन देंट्रिकल इट इंड्यूस सम चेंज इन देंट्रिकल्स नाउ द थिंग इज अगर आप इस एट्रिया को और इस वेंट्रिकल को वापस से नई इंपल्स नई इंफॉर्मेशन नई डिपोलराइजेशन कंडक्ट करनी है इट हैज टू फर्स्टली रिकवर एट्रिया को इनशियल स्टेज में वापस आना है जो वेंट्रिकल है इसको भी इनशियल स्टेज में वापस आना है द रिकवरी ऑफ एट्रिया इज नोन एज रिपोलराइजेशन सिमिलरली बेटी द रिकवरी ऑफ वेंट्रिकल इज नोन एज वेंट्रिक्यूलर रिपोलराइजेशन i tell you betty the atrial repolarization by saying that i mean to say atrial recovery back to the initial stage is not represented on the ecg paper while as the ventricular repolarization the ventricular coming back to the initial stage is represented on ecg by another wave known as t wave so betty these are the five waves on ecg paper the p wave the q the r the s and the t wave what does the p wave represent it represent the atrial depolarization that impulse is in the atria what does the q r s represent it represents ventricular depolarization by saying ventricular depolarization i mean to say that the impulse is right now in the ventricles and then what does the t wave represent t wave represent ventricular recovery yes there are two recoveries happening one is the atrial recovery another is the ventricular recovery atria ko bhi recover karna hai ventricle ko bhi recover karna hai agar inko nayi conduction nayi impulse ko conduct karna hai 
atrial recovers ventricle also recovers but the atrial recovery is not represented by any wave on ecg paper while as the ventricular repolarization the ventricular recovery is represented by the t wave on ecg that's all about the ecg the electrocardiograph and i tell you bete that is how we complete the entire circulatory system if you have any question regarding the circulatory system you come to the comment uh, section and put your questions there inshallah when i get the time i will be answering each and every question that you have there